we have never seen this before. Introducing God Mode, the AI chat browser. It's fast, free, open source, and has access to 12 large language models as chatbots such as ChatGPT, Bing, Bard, Claude, Perplexity, and many more. You do not require any API keys and it is fully web-based, which means that you can utilize this on the web front. Now, this is a dedicated chat browser that only does one thing and that is to help you quickly access full web apps of different large language models that are out there. Now, in today's video, I'll be demonstrating the full use case of God Mode and how you can actually install it, as well as focusing on the future roadmap of this application. So with that thought, let's get right into the video hey what is up guys welcome back to another youtube video at the world of ai now we're gonna move straight into the video and i'm gonna showcase you how to install god mode now i'm gonna be doing this with windows so if you have a windows computer definitely follow along with whatever i'm doing however if you have a mac os you can go along with this instruction that is over here. You can download the pre-compiled binaries, which you can access over here. It's simply easy. You just download it off the libraries and unzip it onto your desktop. And once you're on your desktop, you can open it up the installation and you're gonna be able to easily access God mode. But in the case of this video, I'm gonna be showcasing how to install it for Windows. Now there's a couple things that you will need beforehand. And firstly, that is Git. This is an application that will help you clone the repository onto your desktop secondly you will need python and thirdly and which is the last step and that is making sure that you have node.js and npm installed now what you want to do first things first if you do not have this installed you want to open up command prompt and you want to copy this code over here and paste it into command prompt now i already did this beforehand as i already have this environment set up so i don't need to do this but this is the first step that you need to do and this is by copying this command to install the requirements that are needed with node.js and npm so once this is done we can move on to the next step of the video so now that you have the required applications as well as the environments installed you can firstly copy this code right here which is git clone the repository link and paste it into your git uh, command prompt sorry click enter now what you want to do right away is go into the cd god mode folder and this is by typing in this command cd god mode and once you're in the god mode folder you can install npm now in this case this will install the requirements that are needed for this application so this might take a couple of seconds as it's going to start installing the different requirements and the dependencies of this application so once this is done i'll be right back once it has finished installing the requirements you can go back onto the repository copy this code right is right here and this will run the development of the application so once you click enter it'll start it up fairly shortly so it might take a couple seconds but it's going to start up the application now one thing that you want to know is that the creator of this application built it off of mac os so by default he said that we're only mac os and i only have a mac sorry and we are seeking a windows maintainer and someone to help make this work on arch linux so if you are interested in doing anything that is related to whatever the developers of this project wants definitely reach out to them and just like that we have it open you can see that you're able to access four different models at the moment now if you open this menu you can see that you can search different other types of language models that are out there such as hugging chat so if you want to add something for example you can just click on it and it will incorporate it over here and you can see we have hugging chat over here now if you log into chat gpt get barred like by signing in you're able to access all these different things and chat all at once for example you can give it uh, a certain type of prompt for example who is uh the creator of microsoft i don't know i'm just creating something random so in this case i give this prompt and it will input it to all of the language models that we have over here and it will give you answers from each and every language model and this is a way for you to analyze each single prompt that you give it with different models so in a way it's a great way for you to compare these 
different types of prompts that you give it and it's a way for you to get the best sort of answer from each of them because you know that each model has its own data sets and its own training methods to get you the generated content so sometimes you might not get the best answer with chat gpt as you might get it better with hugging face or with hugging chat sorry or with bard so this is a great way for you to access generate content all at once by comparing it with the different models that you have over here with god mode you have 12 supported large language model providers which is absolutely insane in my mind you have chat gpt claude 2 claude 1 as well perplexity bing bard you have poe you.com chat you have hugging chat Vercel, local ggml models you have pinned open router open assistant and you're, there's also a possibility to submit your own issue of a large language model provider which is absolutely dope because you can get access to many other models which you would want this per application to provide but in general you have a lot of amazing applications or large language models in which you can utilize with this app so you can get the best of all the generative content that is out there in the ai world to get you the best generation whether it's for chats whether it's to generate certain types of stories topics urls whatever it may be you're able to do it with all these 12 supported large language models and it could be very beneficial for someone who is comparing certain types of contexts with other contexts that is generated with other models so this will save a lot of time for a lot of people and will get you the best output response as you're able to compare it with each and every model if you guys haven't checked out world of ai on the patreon page i definitely recommend that you do so so you can get access to our private discord where you can get amazing partnership opportunities networking abilities as well as the latest ai news that i'll be releasing on the discord only so if you want to get a chance to look at all these things definitely take a look at the patreon page which i'll leave a link to in the description below now if you guys haven't followed world of ai i highly recommend that you do so on twitter so you can stay up to date with the latest ai news and trends and lastly make sure you subscribe turn notification bell like this video and if you guys haven't seen our previous videos please do so so you can stay up to date with the latest ai news in terms of videos so with that thought guys let's get right back into the video now just take a look at this video example now if you see the creator is inputting what is the meaning of life and what it does is that it sends the prompt to each and every language model that is there on god mode interface so you can see ChatGPT gives you a response you have microsoft as which is right over here and then bard giving you a response and I do not know which one this model is, but if you scroll out a little bit, we can maybe get a better idea. This was Anthropic, you have Together AI, as well as you.com chat. So all of them have been able to generate the single response from the single prompt. So this is a great way for you to get a good context as to what you're trying to generate with each and every model. So this way you're able to get some sort of idea as to how each model is able to generate a certain type of response with what you give it. And this could be very beneficial for people who are trying to utilize many different models all at once. And it's a great way for you to access all of them all at once with this God mode UI as well as this app. Now, as you see, you're able to zoom into the characters of what is being generated. It helps you write the code, which is great and it's something that doesn't require an api key which means that it's completely free and it is open source so you can add on and build towards this application in conclusion guys god mode is an amazing application in which you can access many of the large language models that you might be using on a day-to-day -day front with a side-by-side -side interaction with many other models such as the 12 models that we discussed throughout today's video so i hope you enjoyed today's video and you're able to utilize this app to help you out in your day-to-day -day life as you're able to access all 12 of these large language models all at once simultaneously and it's something that is seamlessly integrated within your own workflow and it could be easily accessible with this application so i hope you enjoyed today's video and you got a lot of value out of it now if you guys haven't checked out the patreon page please do so so you can get access to our private discord in which i'll be growing as the days go by in which we're going to be launching a lot of exclusive features throughout it where you can get 
a lot of private like types of partnerships networking opportunities and a lot more so if you're tuned with whatever is happening right now definitely check this out so you can stay up to date with it now if you guys haven't followed world of ai on twitter please do so so you can stay up to date with the latest ai trends and lastly make sure you subscribe to our notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos as there's a lot of content that you'll definitely benefit from so today i actually want to mention that we actually hit 17k subscribers which is absolutely amazing so i just want to say from the bottom of my heart thank you guys so much for supporting this channel it really really means a lot to me so have an amazing day guys spread positivity i love you guys a lot have an amazing day and i'll see you guys later peace out fellas